Hi, in this video we'll take a look at how you can install the cross-platform command line interface for Azure on Debian and Ubuntu based systems. Uh, essentially we're going to be using the advanced packaging tool, the APT tool, so it should work on all flavors of Debian and all flavors of uh, operating systems built on top of Ubuntu, uh, including Linux Mint, which I'm actually using today for the demo, as well as other versions and variations of Ubuntu such as uh, Zubuntu, Kubuntu, etc. Uh, so um, the the instructions to perform the installation are well described in this resource here. So it's a GitHub site. Uh, Microsoft's of course uh, open sourced uh, the cross-platform uh, command line interface. Um, so it's built on top of uh, Node.js uh, and hence the cross-platform nature. Uh, prior to having the exp uh, the cross-platform CLI, Microsoft, of course, had the PowerShell interface, uh, but then you are very restricted, of course, to uh, doing a lot of this provisioning on a Windows-based environment. However, with the um, Azure CLI cross-platform CLI, you can now perform these uh, provisioning and setup and configuration uh, over uh, the operating system of your choice. Uh, so again, to um, get started today, um, you can uh, point your browser to this URL here. And uh, as you can see, it um, provides a very rich uh, set of um, APIs uh, to provision and configure a range of um, uh, capabilities within Azure, uh, mostly around the account itself. And uh, a lot many times if you're working on the platform as a service or the infrastructure as a service capabilities, there are uh, commands available uh, for all of these systems. Uh, so um, the the main thing is to install uh, the npm, uh, and once you have the npm installed, then you can actually uh, install the Azure command line interface. So open a terminal, and uh, you need to run these three commands. Okay, so now uh, we can run the next command is to install npn. Okay, now that npn is uh, installed, finally let's uh, install uh, the Azure command line interface. All right, so that's about it for the prerequisites on installing the Azure command line interface. Uh, the CLI itself can be accessed using the Azure command. And uh, by default, it lists out um, all the various um, commands and some help text against that. Um, so uh, now you have the CLI ready. So if you wanted to uh, create VMs or work with uh, Azure, uh, set up scripts so that you can run it uh, across environments, uh, you're all good to go.